So I tried like three other skills and I was still weighing 200 pounds. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ifeha Kingwadi here. If this is your first time, thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you always know every single time I upload a video. Make sure you follow me on social media as well. It's listed somewhere on the screen and let's be friends. So you guys, today I am going to be talking to you guys about how I lost 30 pounds on my whole weight loss journey. And I'm just gonna answer all the questions that you guys had. I started my weight loss journey in October, I believe, of 2017. And so far I have been able to lose 30 pounds. I'm honestly so proud of myself because I never knew it was possible. I never knew I was going to be able to do this. I've always been big, like I was a big kid. I've always been a bit fat, not a bit fat. I've always been fat, basically. I've always been one of the fatter people. The highest my weight has ever been that I have known was 200 pounds. And this was in September, I believe, of 2017. I was weighing 200 pounds. However, I'm sure the summer of 2017, I was probably weighing like 220 or 210 because you guys, I was fat. If I find a picture, I would put it up, if I find a picture. So I was, I was very fat and so I woke up one morning and I literally stared, stared at myself in the mirror and I was like, if I, what is this? Like, what is this? So I decided to step on a scale. I saw that I weighed 91.2 kg, which was 200 pounds, I believe. And I was just like, nah, this scale must be wrong. This scale... There's some, obviously something wrong with this skill, like we weighing 200 pounds, like what? So I tried like three other skills and I was still weighing 200 pounds. And so I was like, wow, wow. I decided October 2017, I was going to change my lifestyle. I was going to be more active, going to the gym. I was going to, like I decided I was going to be serious about everything I was doing. I'm going to tell you guys the three main things that really helped me when it came to losing weight. The first thing was dieting, the second thing was working out, and the third thing were apps. So dieting, I had to change my mindset. I told myself, don't think about this as a diet, think about this as a lifestyle change. So I went from extremely high carb, extremely low protein and low veggies. You know, like typical Nigerian diets, eba, egusi soup, pounded yam, jollof rice, all of that, coupled with pizza and pasta. Like, so I was just eating terribly. And while I was eating awfully, I was still go to the gym thinking I was doing something right. I decided I was going to experiment with different diets and see what worked best for me. So I changed from high carb diet to low carb diet and high protein diet. And while I was dieting or while I was choosing this diet lifestyle, choosing this new lifestyle, I decided to start meal prepping. Meal prepping is basically where you make your food for the week and then, you know, keep it to your fridge. Very strict with myself the first two months. And in the first two months, I had lost like 10 pounds and I was like, okay, like, all right, we can totally do this. Like, this is totally possible. You guys, when I lost my first five pounds, I was, I was overjoyed. Like, I was so happy when I lost my first five pounds. You don't even understand. Like, I thought it was impossible, you know, I actually thought it was impossible and I was just like, oh my god, like if you can lose five pounds, you can lose like as much as you want. So the second thing I did while dieting and while meal prepping and all these things were apps. So I use this app called LifeSum and LifeSum is amazing because it has different plans for you, basically. You have like high protein, classic dieting, like a lot of plans basically. So I chose classic dieting. So LifeSum would help you calculate the grams of carbs, protein, and fat you should be eating in a day. And you can update your weight, you know, tell you how much you should be eating for breakfast, how much you should be eating for lunch, helps you calculate your steps, helps you calculate water as well. So I was like, this is perfect. So this was the app I used. And then working out. So I created my own workout plan. I'm just going to answer some of the questions I was asked about weight loss and losing weight. What was the hardest thing for me while losing weight? I think the hardest thing for me while losing weight was definitely temptation. I was temp like, it was so hard to like go out with my friends and it was so hard to go out with people, go out to restaurants and really want to eat a burger and like not be able to eat a burger. It was so hard for me at first to like not eat these foods that my body was already used to. It was just hard for me not to eat junk food. 
because in my mind I was restricting myself from eating all these things it now started feeling like punishment so what I did to solve that was if I wanted a burger I would get a burger if I felt like having a slice of pizza I would have a slice of pizza and I would just like put that down and be like okay if today you went over your calories tomorrow do better I had to get like more self-control I had to I started finding plans recipes that I still enjoyed and I looked forward to eating. Second question is, how did I fight my cravings? I've never really been a sweet tooth, but my weakness was ice cream. Oh my God, you guys. Ice cream and funnel cakes at Wonderland or any food festival you go to, I loved ice cream, like loved ice cream. I couldn't like see ice cream and walk by. I loved ice cream that much. Because I loved ice cream so much and I found that I was always craving ice cream, I decided to get a, a type of whey protein that was sweet but did not have that much carbs or did not have that much not have so much grams of sugar so I started taking vanilla bean flavored whey protein so that helps me in my mind feel like okay you're having something sweet you're having something that tastes like vanilla you're having something that tastes like cookies and cream you know so I kind of tricked my mind to think I was having ice cream whereas I was just I was having whey protein third question so how do you keep your shape i will show you guys an example of my workout and how i was able to like you know maintain my thighs my butt everything so i focused on lower body for a good three four five months like mainly lower body i wasn't even really doing cardio i tried to like target every muscle in my lower body so because of this plan and this workout this is how i was able to basically like maintain my you know thick thighs but everything to what do you do if you aren't seeing any progress last year in june of last year or something i had i was weighing like between 83 to 85 pounds for like four months it was like my body did not want to i was going to the gym i was working out i was eating right i was doing all these things but it was like my body was stuck i had hit a plateau and my body did not want to lose weight anymore so I started researching, I started checking out like things to do and that is when I came came across intermittent fasting. You guys, you guys, intermittent fasting is key. I know you're like, what is intermittent fasting? So basically it's your body is in a fasted state for a few hours in a day and then you have an eating window for a few hours in a day. The most popular one is like 16, 18. So your body is in a fasted state for 16 hours and then your eating window is like eight hours i would start eating by 10 o'clock in the morning and i would have my last meal by like six o'clock at night so what that helps me do was first of all it helps me like curb my hunger it helps me reduce how much i was eating so i ended up like starting to eat less so i did intermittent fasting from i believe august so i did intermittent fasting for one month i did not go to the gym I wasn't eating my best I wasn't I just said okay let me just try what this intermittent fasting is and in that one month I ended up losing like six pounds so I was like okay if I can lose this much weight while not going to the gym not even eating my best not even meal prepping then obviously there's something to this science and this thing works so I feel like if you're not losing weight so if you feel like you're stuck and you're not seeing any progress you need to switch it up you need to cha either change your diet or change your workout routine or change both. The next question is how to choose what to do at the gym. Instagram is like your full online library. I'm sure you guys probably see like more than 10 workout videos on Instagram in a day. I don't know if it's just me, but I see like almost 30 workout videos on Instagram in a day. So what I do is I look at it and I'm like, oh, that looks cool. So I save it and then I try it at the gym. I will find the one I like the most because for me a weight loss working out and all those things need to be fun they need to be exciting i need to enjoy it so i ended up picking workouts that i enjoyed the next question is how long does it really take to lose weight i'm just going to say i don't think every i don't think there's like a guideline or i don't think there's a particular amount of time it takes for you to lose weight everybody is different because everybody's body composition is different like you have body fat percentage, you have muscle percentage, and then you also have water weight. So everybody carries weight differently, basically, is what I'm trying to say. 
So for each person, it's, def it's definitely subjective. There's no guideline. I'm not going to say like in three months, you should have seen this much progress. Because some people like, it takes them a short amount of time to lose weight. Some people, it takes them a lot of time to lose weight. The thing that I would say is the higher your body fat percentage, the longer it takes for you to lose actual weight and lose actual fat in your body and look lean and look toned. The next question is what motivates you every day to stick to your weight loss plan? Ciao. At the beginning I was like you I I was my self motivator like I was like you can't do this you can't do this totally possible. So when I saw the first 5 pounds drop I was like damn girl like okay if 5 pounds can drop then 15 can drop then if 15 can drop then 20 can drop. Gradually as time went on I started losing motivation because I started feeling like I was stagnant and my body was not changing. I set my goals in series of five pounds so I would let's say I was 185 pounds for example I set my goal to be 180 pounds five pounds looked more realistic to me than 30 pounds you know but I knew what my end goal was I knew where I I know where I want to be at the end of the day I'm not pushing myself too hard I'm giving myself time I am trying hard to be realistic with my weight loss so I would once I lose that five pounds there's like this crazy joy in me that is like okay you did this you've hit you've hit 180 now time to change it to 175 okay you've hit 175 time to change it to 170 so when i see that i reach that goal it's exciting and it motivates me to celebrate the small achievements that i have it, it motivates me more to see those little achievements being achieved and then it's like oh yeah like i achieved this today now i'm excited to set a new goal so basically like i have to be my self-motivator i know like sometimes it's really hard to motivate yourself but i have to be my self-motivator and then i'm sure my friends are tired of me and they're so over me but i would always like text my friends on group chat or, okay so who wants to go on this like thing with me or who wants to try this three-day water fast with me i find a way to like bring other people as well and try to involve other people as well so it's more of like a collective motivation you know because sometimes like you can't be you can't be motivating yourself alone it gets tiring so you need people around you as well to motivate you my last question is do you use body goals or actual weight loss to gauge my progress so i'm guessing this question means like weight loss on this scale so i used to be so obsessed with checking my weight like so much i used to check my weight like every day before like every single day but i realized that wasn't healthy i said to be my own body goals so basically, I know what I want my thighs to look like. I know what I want my upper body to look like. I know what I want my abs to look like. Like I know what I want different parts of my body to look like, right? And so I am going to work towards making those parts of my body like that. I would be my own goal. My goal is to change and enhance or enhance or to build what, like I am my own goal. I'm not looking towards other people to be like my goals or be like damn that person's goals. Like yeah that person has a nice body. That's their body but for my body I'm going to try to sculpt my body to be the best that my body can be. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense but what I'm trying to say is basically I'm not comparing my body to other people's bodies because I feel like that would make me unhappy if I'm not reaching that routine. That is the end of my weight loss question and answer, telling you guys how I lost weight and everything. If there's anything else you guys would like to know that I haven't addressed in this video, make sure to leave a comment down below as well. Or if you're currently on a weight loss journey, you know, you want to share, or if anything it is basically that you guys want to let me know, or you guys want to share, just leave a comment down below. I would be sure to respond. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well, you guys make sure you tell me what other type of videos you would like to see like fitness related make sure you follow me at fit with if i'll put it like somewhere right here so i'm basically going to be sharing like my progress throughout the whole year whatever diet it is that i'm going to be trying or whatever weight loss techniques i'm going to be trying i'm going to be sharing that mostly on fit with if so make sure you follow me on fit with if and See you guys in my next video. Bye.